TOC Overview, Part 3, How Do Organic Measurement Technologies Work? There are many regulatory approved methods for monitoring organics in water. Instrumentation is designed to follow the methods. It is often confusing, however, these regulatory agencies do not approve instrumentation. They only approve methods that are then incorporated into the instrumentation. As discussed in our TOC Overview Part 2, though several methods exist for measuring TOC, each of the methods have these two common objectives. Oxidize organic carbon to carbon dioxide and measure the carbon generated. This graph shows the path of a sample through a combustion or heat oxidation TOC analyzer. Instead of a UV light source, this analyzer uses a thermal reactor to oxidize the organics in a sample. This graphic shows the measurement path through a Hawk Biotector analyzer that uses a two-stage advanced oxidation method. This method can handle very dirty samples, even samples with oils, and requires no sample filtration. Hawk's TNT Plus vials use chemical oxidation and exposure to heat, then utilize a spectrophotometer to measure TOC. Though there are several oxidation methods for measuring TOC, there are fewer op options for detecting the produced carbon dioxide. The technologies used in TOC in measurement instruments generally falls into two categories, conductivity or non-dispersive infrared, or NDIR. Conductivity-based detection methods work by sensing an increase in ion concentration, which is attributed to the increased presence of bicarbonate and carbonate ions created from the oxidation of organic compounds. In this graph, conductivity of the unoxidized water sample is measured. The UV lamp comes on to oxidize organics into carbon dioxide, which causes the conductivity to increase. Conductivity of the oxidized water sample is then measured to produce the TOC measurement value. Non-dispersive infrared detectors measure carbon dioxide by determining the amount of light absorbed across a known distance. The Hawk QBD-1200 uses new digital NDIR technology where the IR source is now semiconductor based instead of the old style incandescent, ensuring stability over time. QBD-1200 uses the well-known UV persulfate method which follows EPA method 415.3 and standard method 5310C. While other analyzers use two separate reagents, the QBD-1200 uses a single combined reagent. Our analyzer does not require a separate module or process for removing total inorganic carbon. The UV lamp does not turn on until we have ensured all of the TIC is removed. Once the UV lamp turns on, the organic carbons are then are oxidized. The CO2 gas is then carried through the system with a carrier gas, or CO2 free gas, to the NDIR where the CO2 is measured and results are then reported. Which method you choose and what type of instrument you will need will greatly depend on what your regulations are in, for your drinking water plant, in addition to what your source water contains. In our fourth and final segment, we will elaborate on the products Hawk has to help you measure your organics while adhering to regulatory methods.